Thank you for stopping by the church website. We have an exciting worship service this Sunday. I'll be preaching from Mark chapter 9, starting at verse 13, where Jesus says to the disciples, you faithless generation. He's lashing out at them. And uh, he's lashing out at them because they were overwhelmed with a boy who was epileptic. Uh, the father brings the boy to them to be healed, and uh, they can't heal him. And Jesus says, you faithless generation. And then he takes him, the boy by himself, he heals him, and the epilepsy is taken away. So the disciples come to him later and they say, how come we couldn't heal him, but you could? And Jesus said, this kind can only be healed through prayer and fasting. And uh, so he's letting the disciples know that he doesn't say you can't heal them, but what he's saying is uh, you've got to build up the strength that God has already put within you. You've got to build upon the power that God has given to you. So that is uh, really what I'm preaching about. It's kind of a funny title. The title of the sermon is, You Big Dummy. Can't you see the favor of God is in you? And you may say, well, where is that coming from? Jesus doesn't say, you big dummy. But I'm thinking about Red Fox in Sanford and the Sun. When uh, Fred Sanford, the father in the, in, uh, the TV story, uh, whenever he gets mad at his son, Lamont, he says, almost slaps him sometimes, he says, you big dummy. And then he goes on and uh, you know tells him what he ought to be doing. And we don't think of Jesus uh, you know, as a human being, but Jesus was very human. He's very God. And at the point when he gets upset with the disciples and he says, you faithless generation, he's kind of acting a little bit like Red Fox. He's saying, you big dummy. In other words, don't you realize the favor of God is upon you? Don't you realize the blessings of God is already upon you? Don't you realize that the power of God is within you? Uh, use what you have. And so that's what I'm preaching on Sunday. I thank you so much for visiting the church website. And if you take a moment, uh, you can go through the website. You'll see all of our podcasts. You'll see the spiritual blogs. You'll see all of the programs of the church, announcements of the church, sick lists of the church, uh, upcoming events of the church. It's all right here. So I hope you'll take a moment flip through and thank you again so much for visiting the Plymouth United Church of Christ.